Reflecting on the findings of the research, we identify uh, 10 key recommendations to help accelerate wave energy innovation going forward. Um, these include, for example, uh, ensuring that the UK, as part of its Brexit negotiations, retains uh, access to uh, EU innovation funding. Uh, but also in terms of grant funding versus other marine energy technologies like tidal stream. We also find that there must be some kind of develop, development of a long-term strategy to develop wave energy um, in the UK, in particular Scotland, should we no longer have access to EU funds and the UK government uh, fall away in terms of support. It's also essential that technologies like wave energy are uh, supported by the formation of niche markets. And what we mean by that are uh, small markets with very niche applications where these technologies can gain a foothold and begin to grow uh, and benefit from learning from uh, the application of the technology, from the manufacturing of the technology, but also the formation of supply chains. There's also a critical need for coordination and ensuring that the different strands of uh, innovation support at the EU, UK and devolved administration level are, are entirely joined up. Um, new initiatives such as the Energy Innovation Board would be crucial to this, uh, but there should indeed be a focus for specific technologies such as wave energy. And finally, it's essential that uh, for wave energy that uh, access to test facilities like FlowWave Test Tank, like the European Marine Energy Centre, is made uh, as easy and as cheap as possible to ensure rapid and frequent testing to engender more experimentation and learning.